Okay, welcome to your first session, pump-up session for uh, electricity. And what I've got here is this, is I want to do is just treat uniform fields. Um, I gave you a homework package that included only problems with uniform fields. And um, it makes the mathematics a little bit simpler, but there's a lot of kind of competing uh, relationships between these different concepts that we have. And hopefully, hopefully that'll be clarified um, after you're done with this pump up. So you can see across the force here, I'm going to talk across the top. I'm going to talk about electric force, E electric field, U sub E um, electric potential energy, and um, V electric potential. So in this case right here, I'm going to zoom in and just treat now uh, forces and fields, just as a quick review, in a uniform field. So you can kind of see in this case right here, I have drawn in here uh, the direction of the electric field. We'll keep it the same for each of our examples here. So if I place a positively charged particle in an electric field, I might ask the question, in which direction does it feel a force? And if you remember, it feels a force in the direction of the electric field. So I'll go ahead and label that my F sub E. That's how I find directions for forces in an electric field. If I place a negatively charged particle in an electric uh, field pointing the way I have it here, you can kind of see it points, it would point in the opposite direction, something like this, and that would be my electric force. So that's how you find the direction of the electric force on a charged particle in an electric field. A neutral particle, like a neutron, of course, would feel actually absolutely no force. If I want to calculate the magnitude of this force for a uh, uniform field, I would use the relationship, the force, uh, because of the, um, uh, the electric field, is going to be the field times the charge, something like this. Um, now, the, uh, now, in this case right here, we can come over to the field, and then we can ask some of the same sort of questions. Now, because in this case right here, all of these problems assume a uniform field, in a sense, this would be something maybe that you'd be given. But you could get a problem, of course, that did not give you the electric field, but instead gave you the electric force. In other words, it would say something like, I put a, a positively charged particle in this area of space. It feels a force in this direction with this magnitude. What's the field? And of course, if you do that, you can uh, just do a little algebra on the equation that we just uh, uh, showed. And you'd see that the electric field is the force, the electric force per unit charge that gets placed in the field, right here. And uh, that's just algebraically the same as the equation we have to the left for force. But, and the reason I want to emphasize this, is this is the equation you actually get on your equation sheet. You don't get the other one. So you can kind of see if you want electric force in a uh, uniform field, you actually have to do the algebra on this version of the equation to get it off the equation sheet. Um, so let's see, we have the same situation. If I put the, um, uh, I could calculate my magnitude of the force on a negative charge as well. It would just have the uh, opposite direction, something like this. All right, that's a little bit of a review, electric force and electric field.